Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to a new video. So, today I'm going to talk about focus stacking. So, I got my camera here. I got the Arsenal 2 device on the camera. It's all hooked up, ready to go. So, we're going to get started here. So, if we go into the app, we're going to take a look at the focus stacking right here. And the one thing that I've noticed on the focus stacking is in all the advertisements for the arsenal you set your near point your far point and then it automatically does the steps in between with this focus stacking it seems like you set your near point and then how many steps out you want to go and then it goes from there not sure how i like that because i don't know what a step is so i've got no idea how many steps to set things so we're going to kind of play with that a little bit see how many shots we get see what our focus step size is going to be um and we'll take a look at that so what i'm going to do actually is we're going to go over here to the table i'm just going to take a couple different shots and i'm going to use some stuff from just around the house um just to to do you know some basic work here so let me get that okay guys so we got this set up here, got my phone on this awesome little mount here, um, and I got a few items set up. So got just, you know, the wine opener here, little random decoration, and then another little random decoration. Um, just going to use these to show the uh, different steps here in the, the focus mode. So got the camera, you can see what that looks like on here. Um, and then I'll show you on the app of what we got going on. So I'm going to set this down and uh, we'll go from there. Gonna go ahead and get started here. What I'm gonna do as you can see in the app, um, I've already got this set up for focus stacking, but if you open this menu here, you got your crowd control, your exposure bracketing, uh, long exposure stacking, turn everything off and then focus stacking, which is what we're gonna work with here. So working with this, what we're gonna do, um, let's start off, go ahead with three. Um, and we'll do 25 and then we'll just see how that works and we're going to set our near point let that focus and doesn't look like it was able to do that we're going to go ahead and take one shot we'll see what happens with it um, we'll see what happens here so okay so focus failed I've run into this issue before, and I will say this isn't my first time trying the focus stacking. Um, this is my first time today trying the focus stacking. I was hoping that this might work a little better, but it seems like I'm having a little bit of an issue here. So I'm going to play around with this a little bit. We'll see what we find out. Um, I'm going to turn some more lights on. The scene is a little dark, so maybe that'll help with it. And uh, I'll come back to you guys and we'll see what happens. Okay, guys. So what I've done here... Uh, I went ahead and turned some extra lights on, get a little more lighting in here. Uh, still had an issue focusing, so I actually swapped two of the items around, um, and, and now it's focusing on that first object. So I'm going to show you guys what I'm looking at here, um, so you'll be able to see it, you know, from the camera's point of view. You'll be able to see what I've changed, and we'll be good to go. So. You guys can see in here, I'm still in the focus stacking mode, still in number of shots at three and the focus step size at 25. So we're gonna leave that there. I'm gonna leave those settings the same. You can see this decoration here, I went ahead and swapped with this. Um, they were different places, but for whatever reason, it wasn't focusing on this object. So now I've got this one in front and it does seem to be focusing on that. So if I click on this little base, you'll see it focuses. Um, and then let's go ahead and take that picture and we'll see what happens. So it's taking this focus bracket shots right now. Um, we got you know shot one of three. So it's gonna run through the three different shots that we set it to. Um, and, and we'll see what those stacks look like. I would say overall these items are honestly um, 
probably about six to eight inches or so away from each other, um, roughly. So we'll let this take, we're on the second focus bracket shot. Now we're taking the third bracket shot. All right, so let's go ahead, take a look at the photos. Okay, it's still taking them. It's weird that it's not showing up on the screen here, um, but it was actually taking the photo. So I may have actually bumped the camera a little, kind of messed that up. So we'll, we'll see how that turns out. Let's go ahead and take a look at these photos. So. Still processing the stacked one. Let's look here. Um, so this is the first shot. Second. We'll go back, we'll go to the third image here. So overall they don't look too bad individually. Um, yeah, overall I think, I think it looks pretty good. Let's kind of play around with these settings. Um, you know, see what good looks like. Let's look what bad looks like. So let's go back in to the focus stack settings. Let's keep it at three, but let's drop that focus step size. Let's just go down to five. So we'll go pretty low. Um, these are pretty close together. So we'll see what that looks like. Let's go ahead and set that initial focus point. And we'll take our images. Starting up, we'll see what happens here. So again, guys, overall, I'm enjoying the arsenal. Um, we've had a little bit of cold weather and things going on. And obviously, you know, I've not been outside during that colder weather. Um, I've also been doing some running and, and busy at work and things like that. So haven't had a ton of time over the last couple of weeks, I would say, to really play around with the arsenal. But when I have had the job or opportunities to use it, I am still enjoying it. So getting on with that last photo here, I'm gonna let it take. So it seems like it stops showing the image being taken. But then we go in here to the photos, um, you can see, and I don't know if you can hear it, but it's still taking photos. So that's one weird thing I'm noticing with this after, you know, taking photo two of three, it kind of goes away almost as if it's done, but it's not actually done. So let's go ahead and go in here. We can look, it's still processing the stacked image. Obviously, here's what this looks like. So, doesn't look too bad. Um, you know, our overall stacked image the first time looks good. I... Alright, we got the stacked image here. I gotta say, overall, um, between this one and this one, not a whole lot of difference. I think the 25 step seems to be a little more in focus. Um, yeah, I, I think there's a little more as you get further out. It doesn't seem to be in focus uh, back there versus the 25. So I definitely think, you know, the steps increase significantly there. So let's see. Let's look at, you know, some of the things that are kind of out of focus. Maybe still, if we go back to the trim and stuff back here, maybe a little bit out of focus there. So let's go ahead and do the opposite here. I'm gonna go in and let's do focus step size. Let's go the opposite. Let's take this thing to 99. Um, let's see what happens. I have no idea what's gonna happen here. So we'll just kind of play around with it. We'll see how this does. All right, we got that point. I'm gonna reset it. We'll see what happens. So 
Hey there guys, I'm just playing around with this thing. Um, honestly, that's what I'd recommend anybody doing when they get this device. Just play around with it, play with the settings. Do some wonky stuff like this where you just set it to, you know, super extremes. Um, just so you can see how to control it and then you can hone in on the individual image. So that's something I do, you know, when, I, when I'm editing a lot of times. Um, honestly, I'll, I'll take, let's say, I'm playing with exposure. I'll take my exposure all the way to one end, all the way to the other end, and then I'll kind of find where that middle ground is where I like it. So, let's take a look at these images. Okay, so stacking it together. Okay, so the front still in focus. Um, really jumped kind of out of focus here. So you can definitely tell the difference where it's taken this front object out of focus. It's definitely the step size is much bigger. And we'll let this process here and then we'll take a look at it. Okay. So, yeah, I think here, honestly, it, you know, it did good on that first initial image. The first thing, um, you know, this vase here is definitely in focus, I would say, but then it seems like nothing else really in focus. I think the step size was so far. It's probably, if you look, the closet actually is in fairly decent focus considering how hidden it is. My guess is that the step size is just so big so i'd be curious i'll play around with it um in terms of landscape photography you know things that are way far out there maybe that's where this would be useful um focus stacking <sighs> neat feature i'm glad it's in there the more features the better i don't know how often i'll use it um i don't know how useful it'll be at least for me personally maybe i'll find some awesome uses for it and i'll definitely let you guys know but overall not sure how useful i'll find the focus stacking feature it does work i think that i would rather set my near point my far point and let the ai calculate the steps versus me having that trial and error in there so as much as i love my arsenal device i gotta say this not my favorite feature I definitely wish they would go back to the old way where you set your near, your far, and it calculates in between. Um, or you set how many photos you'd like to do and it takes, you know, even steps in between to put things as in focus as possible. So I wish they would go back to that way. I think that's probably just a software fix. So hopefully maybe they'll do an update. They'll go back to that. That's definitely what was advertised <clears throat> when I purchased the device. So that's what I'd like to see happen because I definitely think it's a better way of doing focus stacking versus the way that they currently have it set up on the Arsenal 2 device. So um, personal opinion, definitely not my favorite feature. Definitely something that I probably won't use a whole lot. I do think that if they changed the way that the focus stacking was done, I'd probably use it a lot more, find it a lot more useful. So overall, kind of bummed on this feature but um we'll see what happens maybe they'll make some changes it's still a freshly released device you know just came out a month or so ago so still new maybe they'll make changes make it better uh hopefully they do so and and you know take people's feedback and and make some changes that are more beneficial so definitely if focus stacking is your reason for buying it i might hold off um, other features of the Arsenal are fantastic. There's a lot of things I really like it for. Focus hacking in particular, not the best feature. So that's it. Thank you.